what happens is that Heritage got a new president about two years ago, a guy named Kevin Roberts. And he took Heritage in an entirely new direction. So it had been part of that old Reagan organization, small government, let the markets do things, get rid of the social safety net and all that. What Roberts did is he very deliberately set out to create a new kind of Heritage Foundation and a new kind of Republican Party. And to do that, he partnered with the Danube Institute in Hungary. The Danube Institute in Hungary, and mind you, Hungary is a little tiny country in the middle of, um, of uh, Europe. And the idea that we're taking orders from Hungary right now really chaps my you-know-what. But anyway, so beautiful country, but you know. Um, the Danube Institute is the, the arm of Viktor Orban. Viktor Orban is the prime minister of Hungary. He was elected his second time, first time he was, a, you know, Democratic kind of leader. He gets, gets thrown out of office, he gets reelected, and the second time he becomes a dictator. He gets rid of the free press, he takes the, um, the, the previously excellent educational system, brings it all under his wing, and you can only teach the stuff that he, that he wants you to. There are still political parties, but they don't get any media time and they can't speak out against him. So even though there are elections, he always wins them by huge amounts. So he basically took Hungarian democracy and took it all into his own hands. And, you know, the thriving uh, businesses in Hungary all went to his cronies. Um, you know, he would say to somebody, uh, we're going to buy you out for pennies on the on the uh, dollar or whatever the equivalent is in Hungarian money. And, you know, you can either take that or we're just going to take it. And so the Hungarian um, economy is collapsing and so on. But that institute, the Danube Institute, pushes this idea. And this is so important. The idea that democracy is over, democracy doesn't work in its place. And, and the reason it doesn't work is because under the dem a democratic system like we have in the United States and like European countries do and other countries as well, the central tenet of that is that everybody must be treated equally before the law. Now, there are a number of people who uh, that um, Orban is, is speaking for who, and he says this quite deliberately, who say that democracy destroys a nation because by requiring the government and the legal system to treat everybody as if they are equal, what it means is that women are equal to men under the law, and that means that they stop deferring to their husbands and their fathers. People of color are equal to white people, and that means that they stop deferring to white people. And migrants, immigrants, are welcome into a country, which means that they will poison the blood, which you might have heard before. That idea is that instead of having democracy, he calls for illiberal democracy, or sometimes he calls it Christian democracy, which is not the same thing as the European political parties. So what you do if you get rid of democracy, you are explicitly saying some people are not as good as others. Some people are better than others, and they're the ones who have the right to rule. But here's the kicker. Those people must also be Christian under this, um, this uh, ideology. And they should impose Christian nationalism on their countries. All right, so that's the ideology behind Orban and the Danube Institute. It is also the ideology behind people like Ron DeSantis in Florida. So when people say, oh, that could never happen here, take a look at Ron DeSantis in Florida, who literally took over one of the Florida, one of the flagship Florida universities, put his own people in charge of it, tanked it, um, you know, the faculty all left, the students all left, um, who literally said to Disney that it had to stop supporting its gay workers, LGBTQ plus workers, um, because uh, he wanted them to discriminate with his Don't Say Gay bill, which was directly patterned on a Hungarian bill. Um, so you've see, and of course we got the, the extreme abortion ban in, in Florida as well, and in other places as well, but here I'm just trying to say these ideas are already in America and they're already being implemented. All right, so under Heritage, the guy in charge of, Robert's in charge of Heritage, wants to do the same thing in America. So that's the background for Project 2025. All right, 
And the idea is that this would be put in place by Trump or another similar figure when they are elected under their scheme in, in this next election. All right, so what does 2025 call for? The, the central piece of Project 2025 is a piece that has been talked about in America since the Reagan administration. And that is the idea that the president is, it's called the unitary executive theory. The president cannot be checked by either the courts or Congress because in the three branches of government, each one is, is can do whatever they want, right, in, in their three branches. Now, that's ahistorical. That has never been the understanding of the presidency. Certainly, George Washington admitted that he could be checked, checked by the Congress. It has always been the case that the Congress and the courts insisted that the president was being, had to be bound by the, by the law. Not only is that in Project 2025, what did the Supreme Court just do? The Supreme Court just said, not only that the president can't be checked by Congress or the courts, it just said the, con the president is immune from prosecution for breaking the law. Okay, so that's your centerpiece. You've got this extraordinary president, but I'm not done yet. Once you've got this extraordinary president, the next piece, and it's actually all in the, in the inter, it's not really the introduction. There's an introduction to Project 2025, and then there's this first section that it describes the different pieces of it. All right, so, but in this first section that describes the different pieces, right after the idea of there being this strong executive, this strong president, the next piece of that is 